one this is lament sunny of ls web apps okay so now that we have implemented the delete functionality but you can see that our application does not have navigation links and anytime that we need to go to a page we need to change the url here manually all right so let's create um some navigation at the top here so that we can easily go about the different pages in our application so the first thing we need to do is let's go to uh, the header.php um, file so inside our text editor let's go to includes here and inside header.php okay so at the top just right after container here we're gonna open up a ul tag all right so let's do ul and then we'll give it a class of um nav and nav tab so these are bootstrap specific so you say nav and nav tabs okay and inside there let's open up an li tag for each element and then inside there put an a tag there so first we need to um create a navigation link for the home page and that will have a url of forward slash um forward slash okay so next let's just duplicate that uh, many times let's all right so next let's put in here page pages sorry so that um, we can navigate to the list of pages easily and that will have a url of forward slash page let's duplicate that once more so we'll have one for create page and that will have a uh, navigation um, link of pages forward slash um, add dot php okay so let's rectify this a bit it's not page it's pages and then let's duplicate that once more but this one um is going to be a logout link so basically we're gonna have logout here and then we're gonna have another link here which is login but we're gonna have to do some logic um just around those in a bit so but let's change um the urls to make sure they are correct so let's say logout dot php and next here let's add in login dot php okay and since our home page is the login page itself we don't need to put login dot php because we do not have such a page all right so the logic that we need to put around this is that we want to display the logout page if the user is already logged in so the way we check whether users logged in is whether their session has the id set there okay so let's come down here and just do php so we're gonna do if is set then we're gonna do dollar underscore session and then we're gonna do um, id all right so if a user is logged in their id is set so let's push this here now let's do an else and let's just do this this is the shorthand for if and else is let's push this right in there and then let's just close that else tag here so and if and then we just do a semicolon all right so now let's go to our browser and just refresh and um seems like we have an error on line 16 okay let me see if right i missed the um colon here all right so i'll just refresh that now you can see we have all these pages at the top and we can visit the pages that create page the login page and then the home page okay and as you can see we have one issue um we are still logged in but our page here still displays login and um, the reason for that is we need to start the session um at the top of this page here okay so let's go to the top of the page and let's just call um start session so i'm gonna come here and just do uh open a php tag I'm gonna say start session which is the helper that lives um, inside of our functions.php okay I'm gonna come here and refresh that so let's just um, inspect the top here as you can see now it says log out because the session is now started and when I click on that we can log out um, it says there's no logout.php file and that's because we have not um, implemented the logout feature already okay but next let's go to um, a new video and then we implement that functionality and this video ends here and i thank you for watching i will see you soon cheers bye bye